Hi everyone, hope you're all well. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a very common error message that you might have encountered while browsing the web. And this is the, your connection is not private error. Have you ever come across the error and wondered what it means or how to fix it? Then you're in the right place. In this video, we'll explain the causes behind this error, its implications for your online security and practical state steps that you can take to address it. Whether you're a curious internet user or a website owner seeking solutions, this video is for you. So let's get started. So what does this error actually mean? So this error typically appears when you're trying to access a website using the HTTPS protocol. It's essentially a secure connection, but there's an issue with the website's SSL certificate or security configuration. Um, and SSL stands for Secure Sockets Layer, and it's a protocol used to establish a secure and encrypted connection between a web browser and a web server. It's been succeeded by the Transport Layer Security, so the TLS protocol, but the term SSL is still commonly used to refer to both SSL and TLS. So SSL is really important because they provide three uh, essential security benefits. First up is encryption. So SSL TLS encrypts the data transmitted between a web browser and a web server, making it unreadable to anyone who may intercept it. This ensures that sensitive data, such as passwords, credit card numbers, and personal data, it remains confidential. And SSL TLS uses crypto cryptographic algorithms to verify that the data transferred between the browser and the server remain intact and unaltered during transmission. It prevents tampering or modification of data by hackers or unauthorized individuals. And lastly, SSL TLS uh, enables authentication, which basically establishes the identity of the website or server to the user's browser. It ensures that users are connecting to the legitimate website they intend to visit, reducing the risk of phishing attacks and imperson impersonation as well. Uh, SSL also safeguards user privacy by encrypting data ex exchange between a user's device and the website. So this is really important when transmitting personal ad personally identifiable information, uh, any financial details, login credentials, or any other sensitive kind of data. Uh, SSL certificates are issued by trusted certificate authorities, so CAs, uh, and they will vouch for the authenticity and legitimacy of the website. When users see the padlock symbol or HTTPS in their browser's address bar, it instills confidence and trust in the website security. And it's a good signpost uh, for users. If you ever are on a website and it's missing the padlock or it's not coming up as HTTPS, it's coming up as HTTP, then you know that this website isn't a secure website and you should avoid using it altogether, but at the very least avoid uh, any entering any login information, any financial details, passwords, things like that. Uh, SSL is often a requirement for, comp for compliance with data protection regulations like the General Data Protection Regulation or GDPR or Payment Card Industry Data Security Standards, <clears throat> otherwise known as PCI DSS organizations that handles uh, sensitive cons customer informa information and they're obliged to use SSL to protect the data as well. And lastly, search engines like Google prioritize websites that use SSL. So having an SSL certificate can improve your website search engine rankings, resulting in increased visibility and traffic. So overall, SSL is vital for securing online transactions, protecting user privacy, and establishing trust between websites and their visitors. It plays a really crucial role in maintaining and securing um, a reliable internet ecosystem as well. So now that we have a, be a better understanding of SSL, coming back to the error, your connection is not private, um, will appear when you're try trying to access a website using the HTTPS protocol, um, but there's an issue with the SSL. Um, and a few possible explanations for the error includes things like expired SSL, um, because all SSL certificates have an expiration date. And if the website certificate has expired, your browser will display the your connection is not private error. And this means that the website security certificate is no longer valid. Um, SSL certificate can, may be misconfigured, meaning it doesn't match the domain or there's an issue with the certificate chain. Um, if SSL is self-signed or issued by an untrusted certificate authority, your browser will raise that security warning resulting in that error message. Um, 
And in some cases, the error may occur when your network traffic is being intercepted or when you're using a public Wi-Fi network that requires authentication or acceptance of terms. So if you can encounter this error, it's recommended to avoid and entering any sensitive information on the website and proceed with caution. And if you're the website owner, you should address these issues by renewing or properly configuring the SSL certificate to ensure secure connections for your visitors. So here's a bit more in-depth information on how to deal with um, these, these errors as well. The first thing that you want to do is ensure that you've entered the correct website address and, may and have made any typographical errors as well. Sometimes a small mistake in the URL can lead to the error. It's possible that the error occurred due to a temporary glitch, so try refreshing the page or reloading it to see if the error resolves itself. Click on the refresh button or press F5 on your keyboard and that should usually help. If you trust the website and need access to it despite the error, you, you can choose to proceed with caution, but you should definitely access, uh, exercise caution when entering any sensitive information on such websites as your connection may not be fully secure. Cache data or cookies stored by your browser can sometimes cause conflicts and lead to the error, so make sure you clear your browser's cache and cookies to kind of see if that will help resolve the issues. If the error persists, try accessing the website using a different web browser. It could be a browser specific issue and using an alternative browser may provide a temporary solution at least. You want to avoid uh, using a public Wi-Fi network uh, or an untrusted network as the error may be due to network interception. And lastly, just if you consistently enter encounter the website uh, this error on a specific website, it's advisable to reach out to the website owner or admin and they can investigate the issue and resolve any problems with their SSL certificate or website configuration as well. It's important to remember that this kind of error is different to a 301 error or a 401 error um, and things like that because th with those errors you can't access the site at all or that particular URL at all. But with the with this kind of error you are you do get the option to proceed anyway. Um, but just with caution as well. So again, if you do need to use the website for whatever reason, um, you want to avoid as much as possible in putting any sensitive information like your financial details, any logins, passwords, and things like that. And that wraps up our discussion on your connection is not private error as well. I hope this video has shed a light on the possible causes of the error and providing you with valuable solutions to tackle it. Remember that online security is really crucial and being aware of these common errors empower you to navigate the web more safely and easily as well. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Feel free to leave any questions um, or comments down below. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one.